It is uh, Monday the 13th and it is cold. Uh, minus 26 out there right now. Just uh, getting my truck all uh, warmed up. I'm gonna head out to the airport and uh, gonna try out my new Easy Heat uh, oil pan sump heater that I installed in uh, January, or sorry, December. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I put a couple blankets over um, over the top of the cowl yesterday and plugged it in. So it's the first time I'm going to test it and uh, see uh, what sort of temperatures we're looking at. So I'm in my hangar, uh, had it built last summer. Uh, it's uh, 52 feet by 60 by 18 feet with a uh, 40 foot bifold door. Uh, some of the stuff I have in here. Some uh, belongs to me, others don't. Uh, my sports car, a trailer that belongs to me. Motorcycles, sadly, they don't. It's just the same with the Sataria. This one, uh, this Yukon used to belong to me. It's in advanced old toy. However, it fell out, purchased it. So he's just waiting to pick it up. And the uh, 1994 Toyota Paseo, I'm proud to say. Yeah, it's all mine. <laughs> I'll probably cut that out. So, this is my airplane. It's a uh, Vans RV7A. A denotes the nose wheel. It is a, uh, it was constructed in 2006, has about 300 hours on it. Um, it has an I, a live, uh, light coming IO360 uh, constant speed, so 200 horsepower with the uh, hard silk constant speed prop. As you can tell with my breath, this uh, aircraft hangar is not heated. It's uh, only partially insulated and that's due to fire code. So one of the things I've been trying to uh, solve is the issue of a affordable engine preheat. So I did some research online and I found a company called uh, Easy Heat where they have um, oil sump pads uh, for the engine. Uh, because this is an experimental aircraft, I can install it myself. So I ordered from my aircraft spruce and uh, I installed it about a month ago. So it's been curing for about a month and uh, I plugged it in yesterday. It was about minus 25 degrees Celsius and today is about the same minus 26. So you can see I just have some cheap uh, moving blankets that I had put on top. I'm just going to pull this back here. You can see it's got a, a light that shows that it, it is working or there's power to it. I feel in there, uh, it's not cold. It's not super hot, but it's certainly not cold. I'm just going to take one of the uh, plugs off for the cowl. Give it a feel. Yeah, the cylinder is definitely not frozen, so it's, I can put my hand on it and it's, it's comfortable. So that's a good sign. I'm going to go and uh, go to the cockpit and 
take a look at the temperatures. Okay, so I'm going to turn the master on here. And I'm going to press this instrument power required it for the instrument power. It's not the avionics master switch, but what it does do is if you look at the oil temperature here, you can see it right. And it's showing about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, thereabouts. Yeah. So oil temperature, it's definitely within the range for starting. I'm going to hit the avionics master on, that'll power my avionics. Also, here it shows the outside air temperature is um, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I look at my cylinder head temperature, you'll see it's around, again, around that 70 degree mark Fahrenheit. 70, 76, 72, and 80 for the number 4 cylinder. So definitely uh, able to start at this temperature with uh, not much more than the oil sump heater and uh, a couple blankets. The plan would be going forward I don't heat the hangar is maybe consider an engine tent or uh, or something like that but right now with just a uh, couple cheap blankets and this heater it looks good so again the company is called easy heat uh, it's an oil sump pad uh, 442 this is my make, or it's my model, and for this particular engine, the IO Lycoming IO360. There, I know there's some uh, um, back and forth regarding having the oil sump heater on all the time, uh, whether that uh, uh, creates moisture on the top of your uh, by your your cam. Uh, I, I called the company and of course they said you could leave it in 24-7 um, and it won't affect it whatsoever. Not everybody agrees with that. And uh, I'll, I'll allow you to form your own opinion regarding that sort of situation. One of the uh, answers on the internet was maybe uh, open up your um, dipstick plug and leave it so that the air could flow out your, uh, from your engine case, out in the environment. Um, of course, I would caution that I'd throw a walk around just in case that uh, you were to um, leave it and then you blow out all your oil on takeoff. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you found this informative. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, you can please uh, feel free to leave them if you like it hit the like button, and uh, if you want to see a little more, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much.